Okay then, this is the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 10th of July 2021, time 09.57 hours, British summer time, in the central bar in Cardiff, in the corner, away from people, as I've always done, <laughs> um, and it's packed, uh, the rugby's on, and everyone is having a full English. There is a beer. Um, Cascale Dragon IPA from the Phoenix Brewery in Greater Manchester 4.5% alcohol by volume predominantly lemony a little bit cool at the moment needs to warm up a bit um, fill out the um, taste profile anyway shut up about the beer get on with the Saturday wrap word or phrase of the week coming home for the second week running that's all you sure <laughs> even in Italy um, perhaps they'd like it to come home as well and the tennis which seems to have just sort of passed me by quite a lot not that I really care um, I'm not a great tennis person and well it's rained a bit because that's tennis the app or executable of the week if you've got um, an iPhone or an iPad is the iOS iPad OS photo app it's not just there to put your photos into folders and such like it's really good at editing even editing videos um, in the sense of color and vibrancy and such like if you want to add bits in and chop bits off then it's um, iMovie for you or Lumic Fusion but it's good and it's there and it's free mind you so is Google Photos but you know um, I recommend it it's usually my go-to because it's just there although there are better apps it's like the tyranny of the default <laughs> Anyway, so, the wrap. This time last week, Cardiff Bay. It drizzled a lot there, and you had to wait for your drinks in Spoons in the Bay. Um, 15 minutes sure at the moment. There was a documentary about Spoons in the Week. They are drastically understaffed, and they are suffering from the ping of self-isolation. Be nice to the staff. They're having a hard time. Talking of that, um, I was in the tumble in the week and there was a guy with his wife wandered in without masks on. Now, I'm not a great believer in masks. In fact, Mr. Dregford, science be upon him, uh, took seven weeks to introduce masks after England did and he said there was little scientific evidence to suggest that a normal uh, non-FFP3 mask would have much effect. That's science. Politics is England are doing it, Scotland are doing it, why aren't you? But anyway, they wandered in without masks and what I'm more concerned with is not them and not their virus is losing the license of the pub. I mean they came in there was the sign-in stuff there were the cards saying ready to order there were the menus they walked all the way to the back of the pub and then the bloke moaned at his wife that he couldn't do this and he couldn't do that and where was the menu and because he was too lazy to look there's a global pandemic on you need to be aware of what's going on around you and if he's such a man why is he getting his wife to do everything he was a bit crap I didn't tell him because I might have hit him <laughs> or he might have hit me to be perfectly honest but ah, oh, sometimes really sometimes anyway back to Cardiff Bay Brew Monster um, they had a bit of strangeness going on um, you had to leave your name and your telephone number for track and trace yeah that's fine usually do it at the door you had to go in and sit at your seat and then fill it in off a central clipboard not quite sure where that came from however the rest of the thing was 
really good. Um, a non-alcoholic Norwegian beer, a grapefruit beer from Lervig. That was really good. Um, the food, food was really good. Cheeky chicken. It's actually piri piri chicken. I enjoyed my time down there. It was fast Wi-Fi. To be honest, which is more than can be said for this place. Um, they haven't had the upgrade yet. Um, I think I will be going back. In fact, I know I will be going back. And I will be taking the direct train from Kefili. It's expensive down there though. Especially in spoons. Differential pricing. Anyway, um, gardening. I'm weeding like the wind. I should have started earlier on. Um, and there are tons of weeds. And um, my next door neighbours, they wanted some of the strawberries that I'm growing because I always put some over for Jasper, the little boy. Well, actually, all of them. Um, so I'm growing some runners. <laughs> um, which I should have done last year for myself because I could have saved myself quite a lot of money, but uh, you know things like that anyway the last of my indoor planting that goes outdoors has been planted on um, actually on the windowsill indoors so not quite outdoors and that's my peppers got flowers on my tomatoes and the cucumber plants they're growing like the wind and I actually mowed the lawn yesterday I think we got one two today tomorrow Monday Tuesday maybe into Wednesday of rain so I might put the um, lawn patcher out again because uh, I had a bit of an issue a couple of weeks ago with the um, lawn mower. It dug chunks out of the lawn. But there you go. So politics this week um, was Bojo, uh, Mr. Boris Johnson, um, who was wearing an England shirt later on in the week. And I'll come back to that. Anyway, I don't want to call it Freedom Day. And call it out of lockdown day. And England, as opposed to Wales, where we do things differently here in Wales, are likely to come out of lockdown on the 19th, which means have be a house. Um, I do hope so. And possibly the Pelican, um, although they are self isolating at the moment because of schoolness. And um, various other places um, I really want to go there um, I'd go back to Bristol but uh, um, work going into Temple Mead so that won't be until September unless I drive there and then there's car parking so possibly not but anyway um, England likely to come out of the lockdown and um, I put out a practice prelude because if I'm going away I need to do preludes and daily wraps and um, I can't wait to be honest I have a feeling that come uh, the autumn because the Rona is definitely seasonal there might be especially in Wales where we do things differently another lockdown so I'm gonna make hay while the Sun shines and I'm double jabbed. Hmm. Won five pound on the lottery. It's really good to get an email that says we've got some good news about your ticket. Even if it is only five pounds. Little things. Definitely little things. Hmm. And as I've mentioned, um, Bojo on the 19th, we cranky up in Scotland, announcement for the 9th of August, despite the fact Scotland unfortunately has some of the highest figures in Europe. And there was an announcement this week and about an announcement about next week about another announcement. Typically vague. Very vague. England won in the football. Now hats off to them for winning however lots of back passing um, not running into space not pushing forward they were the better team but I really feel sorry for Denmark they had some great skills oh I'm talking of the England match well done to Mason Mount football gets a lot of stick but hey is it Bella um, he gave her his shirt and she just bawled her eyes out 
and she's not going to wash it and she's not going to give it away and she's going to hang it on the wall well done Mason Mount little things positive things again and yesterday Friday talk about a bank holiday on Monday if England win pub curmudgeon on Twitter suggested probably not a good idea on the Monday probably a week Monday so pubs could get extra beer in very sensible there isn't going to be a bank holiday whatever happens although the word has gone out to encourage employers to be sensitive to people who come in later possibly with a stinking hangover I hope England win I hope they play better I hope they kick the ball towards the opposition goal not back towards their own one that is very boring run into space pass and run that's what I would do so I'm um, back in Cardiff I'm in Bubs um, which used to be Beelzebub's on Church Street from 12 o'clock which I'm looking forward to I've already kicked out uh, the uh, prelude practice video and I've got a car scale and things are looking good and my word or phrase of the week should have been little things however football bye bye <laughs>